What's going on, everybody? This is Island Hopper TV Travel Highlights. Coming to you from a beach house that you can rent with this swing and these boats, kayaks, all that stuff around here. This is actually El Nido, Palawan, Philippines. Okay. The beach that I'm starting on right now is called Las Cabanas. And I'm actually going to walk around the cove here, and that's going to be where Las Cabanas Beach Resort is. I'm staying at Mar Meg Meg, which is actually on Vanilla Beach. If you wanted to inquire about staying at this house, you could see there is the number right up there on the tree house. I'm not going to go up there because I'm not staying there, but you get the idea where the location is. Here's another like treehouse kind of deal. There was a typhoon in Manila yesterday and we had the outer ring of it. It's quite isolated and desolate on this side here. Not many tourists as you can see. Vanilla Beach is going to have more, but you know, if you were to stay at a place like this, I mean, really like Robinson Crusoe out here. Even these islands, if you look at each one of these limestone islands that are out here in El Nido, you'll see at the bottom, a couple of them have like one or two beaches. This one over here has a beach. No one's going to be out there. You could take a private boat out there and just be on that beach swimming. It may not be necessary because when you're at a beach like this, you're going to get the same kind of experience, but island hopping, going around and seeing what's out there. Because you will find different lagoons, right? Like I went to Cadlao Island, they have a lagoon there. I went to another one of the islands where they have the big lagoon, the hidden lagoon, the secret lagoon, the small lagoon. <laughs> you get it, lots of lagoons. Some people say all you really need to do is go to Cadlao Lagoon. But the big lagoon and the small lagoon, very popular. It's that island out there. I forgot the name of it. So I'm going to take you guys around the bend here to Vanilla Beach. This is Las Cabanas Beach. Lots of seaweed on this side. Looks a bit more dirty than Vanilla Beach. Looks like a heck of a be uh, boat right there. It's not in use. So I'm just going to whiz by here because the wind is quite breezy into the mic. Probably a pre-COVID boat. Some dogs. A little puppy. Sometimes when I walk by aggressive dogs, if I don't want them to mess with me, I'll just walk in the water. don't really want to get too close to dogs out here. There's rabies. As cute and cuddly as they may look, you'll hear stories about what happened to the guy who didn't get the rabies shot after he got bit and it didn't end up good. Wow, look at this fire. So this is Las Cabanas. One thing I will say that's cool about the dogs, right, is <laughs> one dog might live over here and he'll swim over here occasionally to get food and then he'll swim back. So you'll see these swimming dogs. You know, people like the swimming pigs of Bahamas. Well, here they have the swimming dogs. I've even seen it in these islands because there's dogs on all of these islands. You'll see it in some of our other videos, the islands. But yeah, this is a zip line right here costs around 600 pesos, 800 pesos for the Superman style, 800 pesos is around like 18 bucks, something like that, 16 bucks. 600 pesos is probably around like 15. I don't know the exact conversion at this moment. Not a pricey activity to do though, but actually they're only doing one way. So once you cross, you actually have to cross this waterway to get back. 
it's not too deep it's kind of shallow they give you the route back but I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm taking you to Vanilla Beach that's where we just came from some of those islands have resorts on them going for around 18 to 20,000 per night that's uh, pesos which would come out to around 280 300 per night benefit of going out there is you're gonna be on a true island paradise like Robinson Crusoe you know so we've got a couple different resorts here but this is Las Cabanas the next one coming up here hope you don't mind the wind massage one hour the hotel I'm staying at is called Mar Meg Meg and it's around 15,000 per night. Here's a cat. So this is Las Cabanas also. I believe this is the main Las Cabanas. Not so much on that point. There's one of the Cabanas. I was thinking about staying there. The reviews are 4.4, which is kind of low, especially for a location like that. So you gotta read the reviews to make sure you wanna stay there. Mar Meg Meg had much better reviews, but you would save money if you stayed at Las Cabanas. It's about $150 to $200 a night there at Las Cabanas. Hello. They got a mini store. I think this is gray water or a stream, I don't know. Here's one of these dogs. He's friendly. He you could tell there by their demeanor if they're friendly or not. So they'll kind of have like this humble appearance, whereas some will have more of aggressive. Barking attitude. Those are the ones that when I see them, if I'm on a beach, I'll go into the water. Out to my waist. And they won't mess with you anymore. But if you walk by them on the beach, they'll come right up to you barking. You never know with a dog, right? I like dogs just as much as the next guy, but <laughs> I'm telling you, just do a little bit of research on rabies in Philippines getting bit by dogs. And you might not want to mess around. And I say this because my friend got bit on the hand while he was grabbing his uh, bag. This happened in Thailand, and he had to get four, he had to get shots for 14 days straight near the location of the actual uh, wound. I was like, no, I don't think I want to deal with that. Hello, zip line. So I'll keep on walking here. And look at that view right there with those two palm trees. Those palm trees, that's orange pearl beach resort right there. And uh, yeah, let's keep walking towards Vanilla Beach.
Hello. In the evening time, this gets going quite nice. This dog keeps following me. I think he just wants to be friends. Watch. He'll look back and see what I'm doing. He thinks I'm walking still. Let's see. I don't know if he's following me or what. And here's Mar Meg Meg. Here he comes again. So this tree is called Marmegmeg, a 100-year-old tree. Please do not sit, climb, or jump on me so I can live longer. This is my hotel resort. Really nice place. Bit expensive, though. Like, just to go to El Nido Town, it's a hundred... No, I'm sorry, a thousand pesos. Just to go to the town of El Nido. If I took a trike on my own, it's around 200 pesos max from here. The town is right over there. See those two twin peaks? It's just on the right side of there. The boat tour I did yesterday, we departed from El Nido Beach, and he actually dropped us off right here on the beach. But the waves were much uh, wavier than this yesterday. It's kind of crazy. It was high seas for sure. The first day I went out, it wasn't high seas. Like, today would have been a great day to go out because the waves are not too pumping. But because of that typhoon, it was quite active. But yeah, vanilla beach for you right here. Great place. Thank you everyone for watching Island Hopper TV. If you enjoyed this one, please consider watching another one of our videos. We have a recommended video and another video for you to watch next.